Hey guys, Kev here, and I have a quick unboxing to do for you. So I got two things from Vosteed. These came separately, but I haven't opened them. Um, so this, I believe, is like a knife roll case thing. Um, so this is pretty cool. I think, if I'm not mistaken, there's some kind of sale on these, or um, they're, I forget what it is, if they're being included um with certain items or there's something going on with these but um uh, or they could just be limited and running out so basically you can hold it looks like a ton of knives in here um i didn't realize that it was a knife roll i thought it was like you put some kitchen knives in so here's the urban edc devo design barley prototype and that'll fit in there pretty easy. Here's a Jacob Creates Chickadee fixed blade. Looks like I could maybe, uh, does it have bigger ones? Yeah, I think it has bigger ones and smaller ones. So maybe they get bigger at certain points. Might not be quite big enough for this. Ah, I can get it in there. Yeah, I can get it in there. There you go. I don't wanna mess with it, obviously. Here is a uh, Jaeger M. Slides right in. So, I mean, you can get pretty big knife in there. Uh, see, Oh, I have a big one here. This is the M3 Tactical Marine Raider they sent me to check out when they sent my prototypes in. This thing's huge. Let's try it this way then. Ooh. Eh. Fits in there. I wouldn't say it's huge. I mean, it's just, it's big. <laughs> oh, how about the uh, Vivo Knives Growler? This is a prototype too. Yep, fits right in. <laughs> have you seen, have you seen this one before? Pre-order coming on that too. Let me get this barley out of here before I forget. Anyway, um, this is a pretty cool uh, knife roll thing. I don't know why I can't get my... Um, camera to zoom out i tried it has this flap too which is interesting i don't know if that's meant to protect the yeah i think it's meant to protect this layer so like it kind of block when you fold it up show you when i roll it up like this it's gonna block those um the knives on this side from dinging into the knives on this side right it's gonna keep a nice little gap there i guess well, no, because you're not folding it. So, I don't know. Maybe it's just a protective layer of some sort. But then it rolls up like this. And then you have a uh, strap like this. Let me just make sure I'm doing this right. You have these um, little rivet type things right here. You can obviously, if you fill it up, you can stretch it out a little bit. Um, and then you can put this guy there. This guy there. It's made out of leather. Has a handle on it. And then you can take your knives places. And it looks like it fits quite a few knives. I didn't count, sorry. But it's probably like 18 knives. Something like that. 20 knives. So if you're going to a knife meetup, which honestly, I do that pretty regularly. I go to lunches and I bring knives. This might actually be really good for that. So I'm going to test this out. I have one of those tomorrow. So... I am going to test this out and see how that goes. And maybe I will report back. But that's the Vosti knife roll. I believe both of these items are on Amazon. So just keep that in mind. Um, here we have the uh, new button lock Vosti. This is the raccoon. And I'm sure you've seen this on your favorite YouTuber's channel. <laughs> I'm not the first one to get one of these, but they did offer to send me one, so I am grateful for that, and uh, let's check it out. Really good packaging from Vosteed. Um, it's top-notch for the price point. I think this is $50 for this thing. You get a patch, really cool Vosteed patch right there. You get this, which is sweet. Wanted, dead or alive, Vosteed Raccoon, armed and very dangerous. There's a cash reward for $59 million doll hairs or dollars 
whatever you want to call it. Uh, then there's a card right here. We have 14C28N, 3.25, perfect blade or uh, blade length. Drop point, flat grind, satin, micarta, plunge. Like I did ask for the black micarta just because I like the look of the black. See if that's what I ended up with. Nope. <laughs> I could have told you that was going to happen. All right, there we go. I'm not complaining. They sent me this for free, guys. Please keep that in mind when you watch this video and or a review that I may do. They sent this to me for free. I did not pay for it. That has to be taken into consideration. My brain is going to be, I don't know. Would I be nicer because they sent it to me? I don't know. It's a good question. I don't know how to test that theory. I don't think I would be, but I'm just trying to be honest here. Um, this is a button lock. And this is a uh, blue my card. I'm actually glad they sent this. I thought it was like, I thought I saw OD green or something. I'm not a fan of that. But this is fine. This is cool. Uh, let's just see. Oh! Okay, hang on there. Hang on there, bucko. Okay. So the button's pretty recessed. It's an interesting location and design of the button, I gotta say. It's different. It's definitely different. We are dead centered. We have no side to side. No up and down. Let's go ahead and see how this clip reverse looks like T6s. Grab our handy dandy get good screw screw preem driver. No matter how many other drivers I've tried, this one just stays out here because it's um, it sits in that stand and it's just right here. Like it, I've tried putting other things in the stand, but it just doesn't look as good. Usually the problem with these filler tabs is they don't want to come out. Yes. Well done. Well done, says. All right. This case, I'm going to try to not have the screw come out with me. Come on, baby. Ah, we lost one. Ah, we almost had a flawless victory, but we did not. Alas, alas, we did not. I had too much stuff in my left pocket these days. Usually the left front pocket is like when I get a knife that I can carry lefty. It's awesome because like now I can carry that for a while because I don't get a lot of those. Uh, but just this week, I've gotten in the Bridgeport 395 with a reversible clip. I got in the Kvist uh, variant PE3 prototype uh, that has a reversible clip and the Veritas prototype. I got in <laughs> my own prototypes, the Growler from M3 Tactical and the, um, the Barley is a slip joint. Like, I've just had so many knives I can carry left-handed, it's... Actually, not the best timing, but what shall we do? So I could have left it right-handed, honestly, but I just want to feel it. Whenever I have a button lock or an axis lock, it's always nice to flip the clip because then you get that actual feeling where you have the clip in your in your finger for the flicks and stuff. Um, the detent on this, that's what I want to talk about, is okay. Um, it's not bad, um, which is good because usually it's shit. Um, when it comes to these budgety button locks, uh, they did a good job here. Um, let me try the ergos. This feels okay. You have just enough handle to get a grip, which is nice, but you have this flat spot up here. That's looking mighty inviting. Yes. Oh my goodness. Okay. This feels really good in hand. One thing I want to note is there is this sharp corner right here. Um, you do need to be weary of that. It looks dangerous. Uh, but I'm going to be back here for the most part. So this is pretty comfortable for me. What I meant about the button earlier is if you look right here, the button is in this recess, which if I can give Vostid any freaking props for this knife, anything, it's that. Thank you. Thank you for recessing the button. But then not only did they recess the button, they didn't make or sorry, they, they recessed it into the scale, but they also made the button sit lower. So a lot of times with <coughs> Kaiser, who made this, I think Kaiser made this, although I'm not positive. I think Vosti now says they have their own part of a factory or something. Um, that's kind of how it goes with these brands that offshoot from Kaiser. 
I think they just end up taking up warehouse space from Kaiser, um, but having their own machines or something. I don't know how it works. But anyway, um, Kaiser does this, and it's like, cool, thanks for that, right? Because what they're doing is they're trying to emulate, not emulate, but they're trying to take the positives of what Protect does. You see how they have this little cutout here for the button? So the button... When uh, closed, it's still popped out a little bit. I can push it easily like that. I can get to it. But when it's open, that button sits flush with the scale. And it's perfectly milled. Everything's perfectly lined up. So it sits flush with the scale. So when I squeeze down like this, I'm not breaking that button. I'm not breaking that uh, detent, whatever you want to call it, right? Uh, and that's super important. When you have a knife like this, especially if you're left-handed like me, right? Uh, it also makes it to where if, let's say, this had a reverse flick option, right? You don't have your finger all over the button. Now, you can still depress it, but it's a much slimmer chance. On the Kaiser ones, they have this cut for the scale, but then the button sticks out the freaking here. The CJRBs are the same way. The button sticks out so far, and it's like... I think the Sabibis do it too. So this, as you can see, the button kind of rests in that um, cutout. So me as a lefty, I can actually use this knife left-handed. Um, not only are the ergos just set up well so that I'm not like pressing the button. Like a lot of them, I go to do the reverse flick and my finger is literally pushing on the button. Um, but in this case, I'm not. And it allows me to actually operate this knife in a reverse flick left-handed, which is huge. The biggest problem I had with the Kaiser Cormorant was that I would be depressing that button and the blade would be wiggling out before I ever even got to flick it. Um, so this has done that really well. Um, I got to wrap it up because I got to go pick up my kid, but this is sharp looking. Let's give it a quick... Uh... Oh, ho! That is razor sharp, guys. Um, 14C28N micarta. I would call this a denim -y micarta. Maybe just blue. I don't know. Teal. What, I don't know. You tell me. But you're getting all that for, what was it? 50 bucks? Uh, yeah. This is awesome, guys. Yes, they sent it to me. So take it with a grain of salt. But uh, they did an excellent job. I'm really excited about this. I'm actually going to go ahead and just drop this in my pocket. I'll carry it with my slip joint up there because I have it in a slip, so no big deal. I'm excited about this. Uh, as soon as I saw it, when they were like, hey, would you want to check this out? I was like, yeah, Vosti. And then I saw the model, and I was like, no. Oh, you know, it actually looks pretty damn good. I love this blade shape. It's a nice spear point, but it's got something going on to it, and I think it kind of does look like a raccoon. So um, I like it a lot, guys. Oh, it's super thin. Yeah, I really like this knife. So... That is the uh, Vostid Raccoon coming very soon or is already out. I know I'm a little late to the game. One thing I want to ding them for real quick is the deep carry clip. It's awesome that it's deep carry, but why is it so damn low? Why is it so shallow? That That's very odd to me. Like, why isn't this up higher? Close? Is it? Don't tell me it's because of the lanyard hole. Um, that's a little bit odd, but let's see. Very tight clip. Yeah, you don't have a ton sticking out. That is a pretty tight clip, though. I gotta gotta say, but it's not horrible. It's okay. Um, all right, that's it. Initial thoughts on the raccoon. You guys will see this in either a review or a rapid review. But so far, uh, I like it a lot. So thank you to Vostid. Really appreciate you guys sending this and that knife roll. Check those out on Amazon. If I can link this down below, I will. And I love you guys. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. Oh, check this out. I got this too. This is the M3 Metal Creations OG Tranquilizer in copper tungsten. So it's 25% copper, 75% tungsten. It's a small version of the Trank, which I really like. So I'm excited. I got this and then I got the Zerkutai buttons for it. So... Anyway, I love you guys. Hope you have a fantastic day, and I will catch you later.